Hi guys, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and I've got a bone to pick. I've been checking my stats on the channel and there's less than 10% of the people that have subscribed that are actually, um, that have hit the bell notifications button. Less than 10%. If you could take the time to hit the bell button right now, um, I'm running an experiment to see this video. I'm specifically asking if you can hit that bell button to see how much of an influence it has. Because last time I asked people to share the surfer on acid video um, and it had like 200,000 views in, in like two weeks and no one actually likes the cocktail. So, so if you guys could do me a massive favor, hit that bell button so all my hard work actually gets shown to you guys and you don't miss a video, that'd be greatly appreciated. But I'm not actually that disappointed. Um, let's get onto the cocktail itself. Uh, so this one here is called the Casper Cocktail and it was created for um, Pammy's Bar, Pammy's Restaurant in Cambridge. It was meant to be paired with a meal. Um, relatively simple cocktail, three ingredient, well, sort of a three ingredient cocktail. Uh, it calls for a Reposado tequila. So I'm using uh, El Himidor and measuring out 60 mil, two ounces. And then 30 mil of orgette. The original recipe does call for hazelnut orgette, but I don't have it and I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, I'm just keen to try it and see how it goes. And if I like it with an almond orgette, then uh, I'll give it a crack with a hazelnut. I've never actually made a hazelnut uh, orgette, to be honest, so. Now 15 ml fresh lime juice, um, and I don't think I actually mentioned that was uh, 30 ml one ounce of the orgette. So 15 ml half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, add it straight in. And from now on, I'm, I'm gonna try to use the, the citrus press to show that I'm actually freshly squeezing my juice because I have so many people ask when I use it out of a bottle, even though I've freshly squeezed off camera, within the last 24 hours, I get a lot of questions asking if it's actually fresh juice, where it comes from, where they can buy it. As far as lemon and lime goes, fresh, always fresh. Uh, the original recipe does call for rose water to be sprayed and spritzed over the top. At the moment, my atomizer. <laughs> At the moment, my <laughs> My drink is gonna taste like shit because it's full of rose water. Um, at the moment, my <laughs> atomizer is completely filled with absinthe. Why are you doing a fast food? So, one drop of rose water. Let's try this again. I'll be a little bit quicker so that I can get to the end of the, the drink for you guys. 60 ml, two ounces of tequila, 30 ml, one ounce of orgette, hazelnut preferred, if you want to stick to the original recipe. 15 ml. Hey, I'm not, I'm not doing well in this video. <laughs> 15 ml fresh lime juice and your rose water. Add ice, give it a shake. Uh, this one is served over crushed ice, I believe. Cat, is it crushed ice? Sorry, this was Cat's choice. It's her recommendation. So Cat, it better be good. Uh. <laughs> crushed ice? I feel like it was. It was, I'm sure. I feel like it needs that extra dilution because it does have 30 mil, a full ounce of orgette, which, uh, Feels like the balance would be a little bit off for me, but. Straight over crushed ice into a double old fashioned glass. Stefan, I have ordered a microplane. 
I literally pressed uh, checkout on, on a website um, before I made this video. I promise, it's on the way. Use a microplane, not a grater. Add some fresh nutmeg over the top. Of course, with a crushed ice drink, then you want to use a straw, otherwise it's going to be incredibly hard to drink. Uh, Surfsidesips.com, use the coupon code STB20 to get 20% off your glass straws. There you have a Casper. Cheers. I was expecting that to be a lot sweeter than it is. That little bit of lime juice actually works really well. It balances it. It's not an overly potent drink. You've got two ounces of um, Reposado tequila. The, the orgia actually definitely takes over though. Um, you, it is a sweet drink still, and it kind of smothers the tequila a little bit. It's not very strong on the tequila flavor, considering, but it's tasty. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button. I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. <laughs> That's how disappointed I am.